Hello. Today I'm going to answer the question, what is positive education? Positive education is a growing movement in schools throughout the world. It is rooted in the science of positive psychology. Positive psychology itself is the study of human flourishing. It's about living the best lives we can, whatever our circumstances, and allows us to become emotionally strong and resilient. If we look at mental health, we can divide it into two elements, mental illness and mental wellness. For a long time, psychology studied mental illness, looking at what went wrong and trying to find out why. In fact, psychology was referred to as the study of the broken machine. The goal of psychology was to help people find a way to move from the negative side of the mental health scale back to the middle, where they no longer felt so ill. But in the 1990s, Professor Martin Seligman changed all of that when he began to study what was going right with people and how to move further into the plus side of the scale and experience mental wellness. He realised that by doing more of what enables us to flourish, we can live lives of greater meaning and happiness. We can also deal better with adversity. Positive education is the application of this knowledge in the classroom, and more and more schools are realising the amazing benefits for the whole school community. It is not something just for children, but something that benefits everyone. The main model of positive education is called PERMA. This stands for experiencing positive emotions by making the most of our opportunities for joy and happiness. Engagement through doing things that are absorbing and challenging. Relationships means forming strong, healthy friendships and bonds in the community. Meaning is generated when we do things that matter or act with kindness. And accomplishment goes far beyond academic success and recognises qualities such as gratitude, friendship, a love of learning and generosity. The elements of PERMA are based on thousands of studies and decades of research. It is an evidence-based approach. Positive education means using each of these elements in the way the curriculum is taught every day, as well as holding bespoke sessions specifically based on PERMA skills. While some of the skills focus more on one PERMA element than the others, most incorporate several aspects of the model. Positive education is not just positive thinking. One of its great strengths is that it helps children recognise and cope with difficult emotions too. It is about providing skills for life and equipping children with the resilience they need to cope with tough times as well as cherishing the good ones. Here is just a taste of what it can do. The next time your children need a confidence boost, try these power poses from Harvard professor Amy Cuddy. All they have to do is hold a powerful pose, whether it's the strength of Wonder Woman, Superman taking flight, or raising their arms aloft in celebration like a race winner. Then they can allow themselves to enjoy the feelings these poses bring. They only need to hold their pose for a few moments to get that important confidence rush. It's a great activity to do before tackling a tricky subject or taking a test. And it works for grown-ups too. The great news is that the benefits of positive education are well documented and they don't come at the cost of academic performance. In fact, the evidence shows that they improve it. Positive education doesn't require expensive equipment. It does take a commitment to its principles and the time and training on how to apply them. If we want children to perform at their best, they need to feel at their best. When this happens, positive education works like magic. Everyday magic. And we support schools throughout the UK to make some everyday magic of their own through our training and seminars as well as videos like this one. You can find out more about us here.